how to cut out an image of course you have first you have to have an image so for this example uh, I choose this image I search this image in Google so you can type in Google free image of girl and I found this uh, which is somehow high resolution image so I save it not save link save it save okay save image and save it to the directory you want to save it so I what a while ago I save it in my directory so I don't need to save it anymore so let's proceed to editing of it so I'll just drag the, the image to my Photoshop workspace and cut it out so this is the image first you have to unlike the image so you can edit it so double click and OK now it's unlocked I'll just zoom the image by hitting control or pressing control 0 to fit on the workspace of Photoshop so workspace and for us to cut out this image uh, we will go to the tool here in the this call no, this actually called the magnetic lasso tool we will use this tool to crop the image by magneting the edge of the object and and the, from point one to point point to point and that's how we crop an image so let's start it uh, I'll choose to start on the hand so let me zoom it first Again. Okay, click, then just hover. I didn't choose the uh, magnetic lasso tool. Click and hover to the object that you want to crop. Then click if you want to, or you, you can you can just hover it. And as you can see, there's some object that is not selected uh, we will modify it afterwards now let's just follow the guide okay so it also cropped up the, the wall but we will fix that later then just get the object I'm just using mouse that's why it's how somehow it's difficult for me to hover over the object but you can use uh, some let's say tablet pens for ease of use okay I'm almost there so there's some uh, we will adjust that later Okay, now I'm on the point, the, the starting point. I just click the starting point to end the selection or the cropping. So now this is my selection. Now it's time to modify or adjust the problem there that we had. So, so in order to adjust that let's, let, let's zoom it for a while. Okay. By using the same tool is as magnetic lasso tool and hitting the alt, bo alt button on the keyboard and pick the first point. See, there's a symbol of minus there. This is the somehow it is the advantage of lasso tool it magnifies the graph background also. But we, I think we are going to use the other tool, which is Polygon Lasso tool. It, this is not magnetic. It just, let's say, a customized or manual selection of a path. So let's click that. And so you can view the other tools by hitting or clicking the right click, and you can see the other tools. Let's use the Polygon Lasso tool. And and press the Alt button to minus the selection 
See, there's a minus sign there. Click and see it's manual. You have to click, click, click. It's not like the uh, the magnetic lasso too. Select this. I'm selecting the area. See now, it removes the area. And also this. Let me zoom by Alt Scroll up. Click. click. Okay, so this, I think it's, uh, yeah. Now, there's some part of the image that I want to include. Instead of hitting the Alt, let's hit the, uh, or press the Shift. Shift is for addition, that means we have to add some select uh, some part of the selection click okay there you go see this one also let me zoom it out the uh, part of the arm also so the hair for the hair I will use the other tool which is quick quick selection tool so that's yeah it means Make it bigger by pressing the bracket, closing bracket, and hold shift to add the selection there. Okay, I think that's fine. So here, holding shift. I think I will not change that there. There's also some part of the image that we want to remove, which is this one. Okay, let's go to magnetic select or magnetic lasso tool. Uh, hold out to. We, we don't want this select to be part of the selection. Also this shift I mean alt then click starting point and to the okay I think that's okay now so once after the selection see we selected the up oh, oh, there's something wrong with the hand we fix that so add Shift, click, magnifies this. Okay, I think I'll use the, okay, reduce the size of the circle, hit Shift to add. Okay, hit Alt to reduce. Okay. 
control minus to zoom out. So once it's done, uh, the, make sure the object, uh, the layer is highlighted, and and press control J to make a new layer of the selected object. Con control J. See, there's a new layer there. Let's me let me turn on turn off the the other layer to see. so this is the crop out or cut out image of this one see. for you to select the image or highlight compress there's some problem but it's okay now uh, press control and click to highlight the image so that, that means there's no background of the image now. It's just the cutout. Okay, so we're going to save that. In order to deselect the selection, control D, press, press control D. And we are going to save this uh, cutout image into PNG. So file, save as. To my direct to whatever directors you want to save it I'll just save it uh, as PNG PNG is a portable network graphics uh, it's it shows the for transparent uh, image so let me save it there uh, as P sample image PNG save it so okay so I can see it and now it's saving. Once it's done, it's there. Okay, see. So you can bring this image in in your canvas. Let's say let's find some background. Let, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Nature background. Let's say, let's just for an example, you have a canvas of like an image, and you want to drag the crafted or cut out the image there. Okay, let's save it. Let's put just in the background. Download. Okay, let's go back to our head. And desktop. Let's download. I'll drag this to this one to make it in the other canvas. The image is not HD. Let's say you have a background like this. And you want to add the image, the, the cutout image. You can drag it there. And there you have it. My background is not that clear. That's why my image is just like this. See, it shows the cap, the cutout there. I didn't choose the HD image. It's the HD. I think this, this the other one is better. Let's see. Half oh, this is HD. And let's name it one, two, three. Desktop. Okay, let's go back here. Go to desktop. One, two, three. Drag it there and drag, drag it there. It should be on you. Let's see, let's put it there. So then, okay, press check. See, this is somehow it's okay in the background. Okay, that's how you cut out an image. I hope this this, this helps you. And th thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe.